Hey guys! In this episode we are going to make a classic full tang bushcraft knife. And because I'm going to make handle scales from scratches and their resin take care for a while, we start from them and after that we make a blade. So those who watch my videos for a while knows that I like to combine wooden pieces and the epoxy. However, I'm always very careful to not make knife with quiche handle and goofy design. Speaking about design, it is gonna be a bushcraft knife, so using some old decayed wood, in my opinion, matched perfectly. On the other hand, I chose black oak wood and from functional perspective it is not a best choice. You might ask why. Thing is that if you accidentally lost knife in the woods you will have a little trouble defining it because it will be very similar to the ground. So in general using color that is visible on the ground is a very good idea. And here's come a beautiful purple epoxy. With brass paints it's gonna be amazing and whole knife will be visible from the distance. It's not a typical solution, probably most knife makers don't fire plant one by hand, but if you are a beginner or if you're belt grinding wobbling like mine, this method guarantees the perfect plunge line. Because I've drilled holes to reduce the weight of the handle, the epoxy is also light, I decided to add brass plates between the tongue and the scales. I think it will add a very cool accent to the overall design and reducing weight by drilling similar holes on the brass make it still useful and relatively light. Yeah, so sometimes crossbites create a problem. This is one of them. Funny thing, I didn't expect that I will use this guillotine so often while I was getting it as a gift. Right now I'm using it a lot. Cool tool.
If you are curious how the blade is locked in this vise, there is an electromagnet in it. You can also check the whole build on my channel. I'm cutting longer pins because those I've used before was just temporary. And now the gluing. This time I've used different two-part epoxy glue. It was much denser and I had to be hard. At the end it was getting harder and harder in seconds. I didn't record the whole handle shaping process because it's just a boring part. But I can say that I always trying to make handle as much comfortable as possible. That is why I almost never make a straight handle shapes. If you don't believe me, just check darkbladeknives.com where you can see my knives. Complicated handles takes much more time, but overall, please tell me, what's the reason to make a knife you don't like because it feels bad under your hand? No. So, knife is ready. And I want to play a game with you guys. Because I like idea of naming knives and to be honest I'm very bad in it. I want you to find a good name for this knife and every next one. Write in the comment section your ideas and the best one will be used on my website. This is all. Have a great day and we see you in the next one. Bye bye.